All right, we are on. Behold my taco. That, no. What? No. Uh, <laughs> hey everybody, uh, if you saw the blog post, my brain's, uh, well, if you saw the blog post, you know what's up. If you didn't see the blog post, my brain has been elsewhere pretty much all week. Uh, there have been a lot of ups and downs for me, at least internally. Uh, don't be worried for me. Everything's fine. I'm just kind of... Eh, essentially, I'm in a funk right now, and I think it's partly chemically to blame. Anyway, that's, that's not... Uh, that's just to explain that nothing actually got planned for tonight. Uh, I'm sorry for that, but I'm here for you anyway. I'm gonna keep on broadcasting. So, uh, basically tonight's show is entirely just what I felt like on a whim, which, honestly, because of that chemical imbalance going on, I'm, I wasn't really feeling like a whole lot, so I'm I'm pretty stoked that I actually did feel like doing something. And, uh, yeah, I completely forgot about the 25th anniversary of Mother Thing, but I'm also going to be doing something that's uh, uh, similarly retro. Uh, unless y'all would rather see something else, I'm open to suggestions, but for now, uh, my plan is to play Final Fantasy II. I, I figure that one's gotten, uh, I, I knew out of all the games in the series, it's one of the more obscure over here, it seems to be, uh, when it came out on the, the, the PlayStation, re between the PlayStation remake and the GBA remake and stuff like that, it's definitely less so at this point, but it still seems like one of the games that is played less by Western audiences. And honestly, I, I really like it. I, I played, I played two right after the first time that I played the first game. And holy crap, it's like day and night between the two. And I was, I was thoroughly impressed. Like, I mean, the, the, the story itself may not be you know, anything much by, by modern storytelling standards, but uh, compared to the storytelling of Final Fantasy 1, I, I, yeah, I was absolutely amazed by it. So that's, that, that, that's part of why it, uh, it carved itself a, a place in my heart. So anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with this game. Got to get up over here, switch things. Doop a doo. Make sure that this is actually, uh... you know, this is probably not going to work. Hold on a sec. I, I think I'm going to have to uh, fix some of the uh, layout here. Let's see. Why did it do that? 1280 by what was what was the uh, horizontal component? It was like 9, 960 I think. Yep, it was 960. Okay. I remember things. Like numbers of geese. Numbers of geese? What? Numbers of Geese? What do geese have to do with anything? I'm confused. Numbers and geese. I I am very confused. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You remember things like numbers and geese. Why would I remember geese? You're confusing me. 
You don't, you don't remember those terrible dinosaurs that hiss at you? Yeah. Why is it doing that? That's not right. That's definitely not right. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I need to fix things. Yes, a random game. He says two, he means two. Yep. That. Oh, God. It's on two parts of the screen now. Uh, config... Da, da, da. You gotta remember, we keep it we move around these parts. Oh yeah. We uh boo. We uh <laughs> Also only silly hats are permitted. Silly hats only. Twelve eighty by eight hundred, no scaling stretch to fit. File. No, it's already open. That's still not right. Why is this happening? What is that happening? Te technical difficulties. It's not displaying correctly. Hmm. Like, it looks derp when I go full screen with it. Maybe you should just use a big window. Well, except that this is a plasma screen and that would leave the thing at the top for three hours. Oh. So that would be bad, okay. Uh, sorry, folks. Let me try stopping and restarting it. He's got to unplug it and plug it back in again. Yep. <laughs> what? That didn't work either. The random game says, yeah, sorry, I'm too used to working in my store where I get all types of people and it's hard not to judge them for having twigs and leaves in their beard. Why? Twigs and leaves? Not twelve eighty by eight hundred. Twelve eighty by nine sixty. That was probably my problem. Was <laughs> the aspect ratio still being a sandwich? No, it's not. Okay, I got it. Yay! We good to go? We, we appear to be. Uh, also, my apologies, but I did not get the chance to eat before this, so I'm going to be eating in front of y'all. Hope you don't mind. I know it's incredibly rude. Behold the taco I no longer have. Programmed. In a far-off land, a long piece has ended. This is kind of loud. Uh, would you mind jumping yes. up and turning that down? I would mind that a lot. I'm going to have to punch you in the organs for this later. Like a... Well, yeah. My taco is all mushy and crushed. My taco is too big! In a far-off land, a long piece has ended. The Paramekian Empire has summoned Hellspawn in hopes to rule the world. The people of Finn fought bravely for their kingdom, and lost. Now four of Finn's youth must flee to Altea, with the enemy just behind. Oh no, the Parmesan Empire! <laughs> I feel like the Emperor is going to have spaghetti spilling out of his pockets. <laughs> okay, now, for character names, I gotta admit, I only remember half of the uh, official names of the characters, that being this guy and the big dumb guy. So since I can only remember half, I am open to taking suggestions for all of them. 
<laughs> Sadly, I don't think there's enough characters to find a clumsy robot. No, there's not. Or even just the word clumsy. No, I could, I could totally do clumsy. Okay. <laughs> clumsy robot says, Father of Furry. And I know exactly which one I want to name clumsy now. Thank you. <laughs> As for the rest of them, though, throw names at me, and I will eat my taco. Would you like some sauce with that? There's not, hot sauce and strange greens. I'm not a sauce kind of guy. saying anything? Not yet. Okay, well, um... Because, like, when I was going through a minute ago to, to test it to see how it was looking, see how I felt about it, I wound up naming the characters Butts, Dicks, Chicks, and Guy. Guy is actually the last guy's name. I was just... Yeah. Chickswith.com Chickswith.com? What? <laughs> Chickswithrichards.com No. Here, Lord Bob Bree says Doc. Ness Geek says Bill, Bob, George, and Ned. Ooh. Hmm? <laughs> this is just because we play too much KSP. But <laughs> Jeff, Bill, Bob, and Guy. No. <laughs> Although actually that, that that does give me a a very strange and amusing idea for naming these guys. Or if uh, you know, clumsy would go dwarves. Clumsy. Oops, easy? Um. <laughs> Sleepy. Doc. <laughs> John. Okay, this is the guy who is clumsy. Yoko, Ringo, and Clumsy. <laughs> Yoko? Oh, no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> now we have purple confirmation with it with us in the spare time. Chicks for The cursed Reed Richards! Also, let me know if I need to fix the sound balance or anything. I didn't have time to to test that out or anything. Wow, you're getting owned by these duck knights. I know, right? Who thought ducks would be so hard? <laughs> Yield the sidewalk, Drakes. Oh no, ineffective. This version has that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh well, this means we have to be a little more tactical. <laughs> the random games has sounded very well balanced. Internal monkey oscillation. Thank you. Oh, in my opinion, that's what that says. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> no, no you won't. Also, I gotta wonder if this is the first game to have a uh, scripted a, a, a scripted you have to lose battle in it and additionally is it the first one 
or, or rather, moreover, is it the first one to open with one? Because because that's kind of a that kind of seems like a huge thing for the time. Will he survive? Yeah. Yes. It will not be long before he regains consciousness. He has a strong life force. I found him as I was fleeing Finn, unconscious and covered in blood. Save him! I've amplified his life force. Let's let him be for now. You're right, we should get going. Everybody is waiting for us at the meeting. If the Empire completes their warship at Bofsk, we'll stand no chance against them. Sounds like a soup. Uh, wh where am I? The others! Clumsy! Yoko! Ringo! <laughs> I feel like we've left a beetle out. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> John, you're alive! I... I... Where's Clumsy? We were rescued by the Princess of Finn, but but Clumsy hasn't been found yet. <laughs> oh no, we're going to Liverpool. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sure he's alive. I can't do the rest of the accents, but I can totally fake a Liverpool. <laughs> Covered. Good. Princess, please let us fight with your rebel army against the Empire. Settle down. In your current state, you'd only be throwing your lives away. We've got nothing else to live for. Our family, our homes, gone. I'm sorry. Well, you may stay here in, Alte in Altea if you wish. Remember the Wild Rose. It's the crest of Finn and the secret password of our rebel army. And that's how long I've been around. Mm -hmm. Your destiny will be intertwined with mine. I can feel it. First, head towards Finn. Say. So, guy named Min just saying it's Finn. This is kind of an interesting system that this game has. I kind of like it. You actually get more uh, more things to do in in dialogue. I see you're using the password. Try saying it to others too. If everybody says it constantly everywhere, the empire will surely learn it quickly. <laughs> Hidden castle has been taken by the Empire. Their monsters are all over the place. Just like my accent. That that wasn't really an accent. That was just old guy voice. <laughs> <laughs> to the east is the port city of Palm, but a large lake blocks the way. You could get there if you had a canoe, though. This is the meeting room. This is the meeting room! Here's two of you? <laughs> okay, so, uh, kind of interesting trivia about this game that I remember reading a long time ago. Uh, this game wasn't entirely skipped over for uh, US localization initially. It just they 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 didn't get to it until uh, the Super Nintendo was already out in the U.S. and Final Fantasy IV was almost out in Japan. So they started localizing it, but then they realized, eh, an NES game this old when the Super Nintendo's already out 
is probably not going to sell that well in the US. So they scrapped that, skipped over three entirely, and went straight to four, and released it here as two, excuse me. However, there exists uh, some elements of the prototype localization of the NES uh, uh, version of Final Fantasy II. And I, I found it somewhere with an interview with one of the localizers, and one part that sticks in my head that I found incredibly amusing was that the magic circle there, the, the six-pointed star in a circle, uh, they, they got rid of that and replaced it with just a triangle in a circle. As if to say, and th this is the part that made it stick with me, it's, it was as if they were saying, we're not Jewish, we're gay. I knew that, because the symbols, that's, that, that's what they represented, and that just seemed like a, a, a very odd tack they to take. They upside down triangle instead of a right side up one? I don't remember. Because <laughs> <laughs> a triangle on its own is more like, uh, well, no, it's it, it, it's a it's a triangle in a it was a triangle in a circle. It, it was a circumscribed triangle. It that that just you know with with all of the Nintendo censorship that went on in the day, that just seemed like a very strange angle that they perhaps didn't think entirely through. <laughs> But it's a moot point anyway, as that version was never released. This is the King's Room. He was critically injured by the Empire's soldiers. Lord Bob Breeze says, who knows what trouble comes when you get up to. <laughs> this is the King's Room. There's two of you in every room. Nothing there. Hey, I nice can Oh, the pain. My daughter Hilda will tell you everything. Wild Rose, tell me things. I don't care that you're dying, tell me things. Nothing on the bookshelves or in things. just the association that my brain made with it when I read it, and so that was, that's why it stuck in my head. And I keep almost accidentally saying circumcised triangles. It's weirder. No. You don't circumcise triangles. Which point would you even... No! <laughs> Kashuan's Prince Gordon is here in Altea. It seems he has lost his confidence, though. You keep almost saying Altea. Uh, actually, I keep I keep on almost saying Altena. Procured potion. Procured. Fancy words on this cartridge, yes. Yes, swallow before you speak. No. 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 Anything in bookshelves? Well, no, girl. <laughs> Michael Watson says, I think there was a triangle inspired in the circle of the FF4. Save point in the land of some of the monsters. Hey, I'm Paul, the world's greatest thief. There's nothing I can't steal. I never steal from rebels. My hometown of Finn was invaded. Fire hasn't attacked all Altea yet, thankfully. Endless songs exactly like FF1, but there's so much more to unlock. Mm hmm. My name is Gordon, late Prince of Kashuan. 
Now I'm just a lowly coward. My clan fled from Kashuan, but my brother's but my brother Scott was captured by the Empire. You want to join the war? If you succeed, remember what a coward I am. Poor guy. Stop being so down on yourself. Paul may be a thief, but he only steals from the Empire. Why is there never anything in the well? Because it was four and you had to throw something into it instead. You can't use this. Well, that's just great. What is that? I can't tell if it's a statue or a fountain or a statue fountain. I think it was a statue. Tobol is our blacksmith. He can make great tools, but lately he's been in hiding. Sweet! Let's get some pliers! Pliers will help us defeat the enemy. <laughs> Only your darkest, most evil magics. And cure, for some reason. Well, there's a white magic store. Actually, I'm guessing it's just a combined magic store and they took out the black magic or something. It's not very deep in hiding. If he's just right there in the town that is the rebel headquarters. In the weapons shop that is probably selling his produce. Yep. Produce is probably not the right term. Product, perhaps? Very. Produce makes it sound like he grows swords. <laughs> That's a good question. Let's find out. He has a broadsword. A buckler and some leather. I did okay. He has potions. <laughs> I can equip the potion on my head. Oh no, I can't. Like the one says, for rebels in hiding, they seem decidedly worth coming with their identities. He can equip the potion, though. In some sort of item slot. I don't know what that does. Me neither. Maybe he just crams it into the dust of his pants. Oh yeah, what does she have? She has a bow. Unarmed clothes. <laughs> Put a potion in the head slot. <laughs> I got a potion on my head. No. Got a potion in my left hand and I can shoot anyway. <laughs> Just like attaches a potion to an arrow. Ah! ah what? what? Why? And he has an axe. And That's my a axe. Okay, so I'm actually decently equipped to start with. I can buy more of these, though. You get leather helms and leather... Uh... Uh, wrist things, perhaps? 
Yeah, it might be a leather band brace, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, since nobody has anything on their heads or arms, let's get some of these. Don't forget to save money for magic. I can earn money for magic. Hmm. Cure is nice to have your first time out running a That's true. That that does extend the time that you can spend farming. It's always nice. It doesn't really matter in the game. Mm -hmm. That first healing spell is the best. Followed by the second healing spell is just better. Okay. I, I, I know it's adhering to tropes, but since she has the, the lowest HP and the lowest attack power, it's going to be most useful for her to be able to cure, and, well, really, it's going to be useful for her to be magic -y in general, so she'll probably be the Red Mage. You should probably go in the back row. If there is a back row in this one, I forget. It looks like there might be. See how Ringo's offset? Yeah, I, I think that's just the... I think they just offset the, the windows, honestly. Now Kira can level up. Yay! Equip! Leatherheads! Leatherheads! Oh god, the, the, that crocodile from, uh... Uh, thing. I was thinking of the sea turtle. The, uh... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leatherhead. So they, they weren't really thinking that through when they named him that, no. I guess. Unless you had like a biker persona? That may have been where they're going for. No. No, he was he was like Cajun. Well, that's at least appropriate for an alligator. Yeah. Item shop, that's what that was over there. Okay. They sell potions. Potions. Probably tanks. Oh, that was kind of trippy. <laughs> and the world closed around them. Time to do some lawn work. Yeah. Now, what, one thing that I remember about this game is if you go in the wrong direction, you are doomed. Because <clears throat> it goes from nice, simple enemies like these hornets here, and you wind up fighting bombs. If you, if you go just a little too far in the wrong direction. Yeah, I seriously remember if that one had, like, in order of reference enemies we get in, the top of the most frequent in the bottom of the enemies. Okay. Ah, poison. Poison. Oh, uh, we should have run from these. Poison is bad. Poison is bad. Unless you can obliterate them immediately, nothing poisonous is worth that. Yeah. But we're already almost to everyone poisoned. There's only two of them. I think so. Oh, 
like more bugs. Let's hear them. John! How can you miss? Fighter has pathetic accuracy. <laughs> I do believe so. So he's got me running out of power here. Uh, actually, I'm curious. Oh, it's not equipped anymore. Has a potion equipped anymore? Right then. Injure insects. Do it. <laughs> I can't see what you people are saying. <laughs> Better. What the last face? are some doopy looking goblins. And they go down in one arrow shot. Yay, we can send them in game. Much cash. John got stupider. is becoming stronger at uh, physical murder. Save Yoku who's gotten like an extra MP from casting cure once. Just trying to get around to doing it again. I 
I guess let's fill those up to three. Oh, I should test it on right now. Get back here, airship! I get you! Oh look, bees and eight leggy. So creeps. Oh, this. Movie. Amazing. Stuff. Okay, it's good for at least 30. Two gears left. Let's build our town over a region space and time. You get used to the transition. I believe town is returning a full moon, though. What? Is it not so dangerous to think about the dog park? good for at least 30. I don't know how much more. Yay. I have positioned myself a couple of times. And that's what to hear Ringo wants. Mm. Well, they really have to, but it was down like 30. Yeah. So I was like, let's see how much gear's good for. At least 30. Okay. Also, I noticed your naming scheme here. When you run out of fields, you need to start naming the things from your PS1 square. Unfortunately, these are the only characters that you get to name. Oh. The rest of the characters are already named. There is one other one, you but... Pizza Frampton. Pizza Frampton. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Delicious. He, he was trying to talk about Peter Frampton and then auto-corrected to Pizza Frampton. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. So Michael Wiley basically said, We built our town with a roof in space and time. We can use some transitions. Don't leave town for a full moon, though. <laughs> Comparison came to mind for this uh, between this and uh, uh, Final Fantasy One. In that, as far as why the story seems so impressive, it's that with Final Fantasy One, the story didn't really progress. It was like you were uncovering a mystery. You were discovering things that were already there, but the state of those things wasn't really changing. Which you know is an interesting way of approaching things, but. Well, things uh, changed as you did stuff. Yeah, a, a, a little bit. For instance, the fiends died. Well, yeah, but th th that, that was about it. Horrible, you know? bloody, magical sword murdery deaths. So much violence. <laughs> Whereas, you know, with, with this game, things just are blowing up all over the place. Things actually change and progress as you go. The overall story goes somewhere. Also, John and Yoko have both gotten dumber. Yeah, that's that's the one downside to the uh, NES version of the game. It's the, the, the game's experience system is use-based. However, uh, it, it also... Uh, your, your abilities also atrophy with disuse, which is unfortunate. You can always hit yourself and cure yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just so stupid. John got dumber still! Pretty soon he's just gonna be the. No, John, you are the Beatles. <laughs> Yeah. And he's got soul. He's doing okay. He's got soul. In train form. He is a soldier. 
<laughs> Actually, that's absolutely correct. Japanese for fighter was Senshi, it's just soldier. <laughs> well, except he doesn't really have a class, he just looks like the fighter from FF1. He looks exactly like the fighter. Yeah, I was confused at first because there, there was fighter, but none of the others looked like. <laughs> like you just want to call him fighter. Sure. You were Ringo looks like a pallid swapped thief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. But Yoko doesn't look like anything. Yoko looks kind of like Rosa from Thor. Yeah. Only in 8 places, no 16. Complete preference for Bo. <clears throat> but yeah, since the game system is use based rather than, uh, just a standard experience system, you can pretty much train your characters into whatever you want them to be, and I think that's kind of neat. So I'm really disturbed by these leg eaters. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're, they're like, they're like knee biters, you know. Do you expect them to be neck eaters? They can't get that high. With a name like that, you think they're, like, are they literally responsible for people losing legs? Maybe they are. Oh no, goblins. We can send me the game. Smurfins. Smurf Smurf and a blend. They've got smurf hats. Okay. They, they do. They totally do. They're also amusingly profitable. Well, I mean, they're they're definitely more... Uh, goblins are certainly more intelligent than uh, snakes or bees. So, you know, it, 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 it makes sense that you would get more money off of them. That's how you start every RPG, clearly. Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, like, not, not, not playing, like, you're actually going and catching rats. Oh, okay. In a house. And not fighting rats, just catching them. Yeah. Normal sized rats. Okay. I'm not sure why I couldn't step on the bottom stair, but I'm pretty sure we were going to die. Well, when you step on the bottom stair, you immediately wind up at the top of the stair. When you get to the bottom, you go back to the top of the stairs. It was kind of like a video game. Like, <laughs> War back, they, they were hiding in specific little spots all over the house. And yeah. Down, and there were specific things you could not do. Hmm. I, 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 I had a rather uh, video gamey dream last night, too. Uh, <laughs> oh it was. Contagious. It was like a. How to describe it? There were. Like, the, the architecture of the places that I was in uh, were, was clearly conceived with jumping puzzles in mind rather than, you know, any sort of practicality. Uh, and, you know, I had to go in and get a thing and then escape. And, like, but as I was escaping, the air filled with poison and I had to make, like, some sort of uh, makeshift... Uh, breathing thing out of a handkerchief. Respirator? Yeah, a, a respirator essentially out of a handkerchief and a, a wafer of sulfur. I, I I don't understand. That, that That's what I had to work with. Let's play Charcoal, sulfur. yes. Sulfur. Help. 
Sulfur will make it worse, probably. <laughs> Charcoal will make it better. Sulfur will make it worse. Mercury himself doesn't know anything about chemistry. Yeah, apparently not. So anyway, that happened, and Steve Sessie was there. <laughs> and you were there, and you were there, and that guy was not... And really all died of poison. It was the strangest thing. <laughs> Just about. Up those I, I, I also had another dream that I, I the only way I can think of to describe it is very strange. It was like a, a eyes wide shut crossed with medieval times. I don't even okay. know. I mean, it was an accident. <laughs> oh no. Number nine? Are you just crying? Right now, yeah. Th th this, this game is uh, mean about proceeding without sufficiently grinding. The full is cash, we can grab some more magic, so the other just is true. Cast things. <laughs> in the gates in to town. town. <laughs> you were on the town tile. Uh huh. Well, I guess you get to help the guards. Not have to fight these imps. It's like the last step out of progress is always where you get to the Mhm. Usually something you don't want, like a spirit. how far along I am to the next level. At least that's what it is with weapon skill. Can you jump between your screens, or do you have to back out? I have to back out, apparently. I, I was hoping I could jump between them. Lazy programmers using trees. I think that's your chance to hit. Mm. 10%? Yeah. He's not very evasive. But he has the highest chance to hit. This is true. Despite having possibly the lowest ability. Actually, did, 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 did you get more equipment for everybody? No, I walked around murdered. Okay, let's let's get equipment then. What about magic? Yeah, I guess we could magic too. Well, money, mostly. Yeah, 500. That means we can afford a spell. Oh, you're right. Oops. That's not our spell. Fire. Let's, uh, let's teach that one to John. Make him a red mage. John the fire bird. Fire burnt. I can't afford more than that. Okay. 
just wear it on her head. This isn't 12. Oh. But I need, I need to learn how to wear it. <laughs> Until then, I can just put it anywhere. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, there are three item sellers. Potion, X Potion, Eye Drop, Antidote. You can already buy X Potions. Crucifix! And the random game is a big doofus who typed a bunch of stuff and is getting a beer. Okay. Crucifix, Echo Screen, Maiden Kiss, Golden Needle. Or G Needle. Because the needle's a G. Phoenix Dean. Phoenix Dan. Ether. <laughs> Phoenix Dan. <laughs> Ether. Cottage and Elixir. That's some expensive cheese. That took me a moment. <laughs> wow, all three of them actually sell different things? Yeah, that's kind of impressive. That's wiggly whack, yo. Those are trees. Is there anything in the grass? More trees. How about over here? Nope. No sneaking around the town to do things. As the random game said, since Daniel reads everything I type into, I finished a type of a novel, but I'm not good with the name of content on the fly, so here's some funny place names. Walla Walla, Keokuk, Kukamonga, Seattle. Okay, you want to know a funny place name? Uh, in Oklahoma, there is a town called Slap Out. And one called cement, and one called concrete. I think that's just fantastic. Slap out. There's also slaughter mill. Yeah, there's that too. Which sounds super welcoming. Totally. Maybe it's like short for maybe it's like S Laughterville, and he has to start super. Super Laughterville. <laughs> that sounds like a video game. Super Laughterville too. The Cloud Apocalypse. Clown Inspector. Learn to get a drink. What? Oh, that was funny. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My joke was funny? This is new. <laughs> what, what is this feeling? <laughs> I think it's constipation. And you killed it. This has got to be the most exciting stream ever. We're just walking back and forth outside of town. Oh, one of us chose it, I had to. I had to get the last of it out. It wasn't just coming throw it there! It wasn't coming out. <laughs> I feel like there's the best of someone said joke, but I'm not sure what direction that should be going. Nowhere. <laughs> That's where. Nowhere. <laughs> Alabama? Alabama works. Alabama man. Alabama man. Alabama man. Uh, alcoholism? Cover everything. <laughs> oh no! That's too much gum soup. No such thing. Josh, use your new power and set that thing on fire. They told us game this time. Hindenburg? I said Hindenburg. I, I had a little flun. <laughs> I had a little flun, okay? Okay. I was trying to say Hindenburg. It didn't come out. <laughs> we scared the bee. Better run, Hoy. Fire! No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Don't set your party on fire. But then how, how are we doing? But if he doesn't, how are Ringo's legs going to be sufficiently hot? Ringo doesn't play guitar. Oh. I don't know, he's just like he's drums on? What? I think it's drums, right? Yeah. Any of your characters could have had a leggy at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh at 
leg eaters. Creepy. Also creepy Yoko's face. And hair. I think she might be a ghost. So bad. Okay, well apparently across the bridge was not the wrong place to go. She's either a ghost or a computer programmer. Or a goth. So bad. Inside all day, likely underground. <laughs> the fire spell default in charging one of the party members? No, it didn't default. That's just where it went. <laughs> I, I was checking to see if the target all, uh, the way it worked in like Final Fantasy V, worked the same here, which was when you were at the back row, if you just kept on pushing left, it would go from targeting the very back member to all of the uh, uh, all of the enemies. Instead, it just cycled back around to my party. Yeah, this is probably the FF1 style where. Second and higher tier spells just hit all the ends. The first tier spells always are Last chapter of the game is if you're down the market, you break your stats. So, yeah. Yup. This is true. Let's try to vary us for this game as usual. <laughs> High quality violin jokes! Just bring this along. Oh, puns. Oh. The puns. Ah, oh, this keeps up. I'm gonna have to blow out. Okay, that one was pretty good. Yeah, I get to attack first. Eat it. You, he was right next to you and you missed him. <laughs> How do you do that? I didn't see you join the bug storm. Can't get your tummy. Uh... Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry, I just have that loaded and it needed to come out. That sounds wrong. That does sound wrong. I think that really wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I had bullets in my gun, so I just had to shoot them. <laughs> I just had a nuke in the Metal Gear, so I had to nuke something, you know? This is terrible watching. I apparently missed everything. Good job. Let it do. Eat it. I hope Ringo gets hit a few more times. I'd like to see how strong the gear spell actually is. Yeah. Also, yep. I really suspect the order hit preference thing is in play. you just open it to pour? <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's Jason, everybody. My days are gonna die laughing. What you doing? Chilling, chilling. Are we? Are we? Yep. Casting. We are. Well, you can sit on the couch. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna change. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> I played the original Duke Nukem on a very old computer. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. I like when you walk into uh, uh, I forget what level it was, but you walk in and there's a Duke Nukem like, stand-up game, and you go and click on it and he's like, I don't have time to play with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Finn 
Queen's castle has been taken by the Empire. Their minions prowl around the town. It's dangerous. Prowl to go alone. Take this. Take this. Here's one of those tarots that said, it's dangerous to go alone. Take one of these. And with all the red shirts from Star Trek. <laughs> 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 I'm like, yep, you'll be fine. Safety in numbers. Properly dressed. It's Vince. Oh, Vince did the cutest thing earlier. What did you do? I missed it. Uh, I, I think you were here when it happened. Uh, I I popped open those uh, Vienna sausages, and he just like hopped up with his front paws on my leg and was like, Meow. He's like, is that wet food? Mm -hmm. You can't use this. It's probably for reviving dead people. And by people, I mean party members. It is a pretty busty statue. <laughs> Altea and Katea have been safe so far, but what'll happen if Empire's warship is completed? It's a pretty busty statue. I guess you could do something inappropriate. I suppose motor fucking parking would be a little painful. Ow, 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 ow. And ineffective, oh, perhaps? Ow. <clears throat> Those are hard. I mean, Bernini's may look realistic, but you still don't want to. Heart jokes. <laughs> we got class in here. Sometimes. They really cleanse Sometimes. your armor palette. I have class. Yeah. I've had class starting on the 18th. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I have a cat on my lap. Now it's just all over the tiny. Yep. Sweet bits. You're a terrible music. <laughs> Sweet bits. Superior to Glenn. Sweet Glenn. <laughs> you will be missed. faster when I walk right. What happens when you walk around? You'll never be gone, In my car, actually. Yeah, it's your car. <laughs> 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 you can't get out of your car. It's in there somewhere. I think it's about yeah. time to make for a thing. Yeah, I think so. Are you getting bored yet? Nah. I'm, I'm doing my best to make sure I don't get bored, actually. <laughs> this is probably the most talkative stream we've had in quite a while. I, I'm, I'm glad for that. The problem before you into a cup is I drink at a much higher rate than normal. <laughs> So that old crank. Gablets. Beige Smurfs. The most boring of Smurfs. Hunt yourselves repeatedly to raise the Oh, no. Yeah. That's not a good defense. Not 
That's why shields had like straps. I just think, uh, yeah, no, he had it. You'd have to stabilize the heck out of that. Yeah, it was just so heavy. Like, it weighed like as much as a nightstick, like that nightstick, easily. Yeah. And then it's not much use as a shield. It's right. really not. <laughs> Unless it's just going to hold still. Hey, right. it, it should be comparable in weight to your sword, and even a large sword's around three pounds. See, your fighting style should be put the shield on the ground and then run in here and just <laughs> trying not to lift it. Right. A sword is surprisingly light. A shield should also be. I actually kind of want to see that now, just giant shield planted in the ground, just <laughs> constantly circled around. Well, that's what, that's the Ajax. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's one? sort of what the idea behind a uh, a tower shield is. I know, just but about. I want to see it. Oh man, I just remembered a thing. What? Uh, thing? A long time ago, playing D and D, there was a. Uh, a character I had who was like a, a bodyguard is what he was so he was all about defense and they said that there was a pub here but I don't know where it is where is this pub maybe that maybe it's just the headquarters I don't know anyway uh it's probably in the end no I, I went in there the, it, uh so, someone said that the uh the dudes that, that there was someone injured here but it's the king that's injured in there so that's probably it Anyway, it was all about defense, so we had a tower shield, uh, and by by finagling the rules a little bit with uh, my DM, uh, I got uh, what did I do? I, I got the shield. Shut up! I I, I got the shield. Uh, bound with an air elemental, which uh, I, I don't remember what elemental binding is actually supposed to do mechanically, but in this case, uh, it reduced, or rather it negated the uh, armor check penalty I got for using it, which was nice, because, you know, it like, made it lighter. It, it wasn't technically lighter, it just became easier to move around. And so I was happy with that. Plus, uh, we were playing in Eberron, so in the city of Sharn, which has a, uh, uh, or rather, which is a manifest zone to the plane of air, uh, I got to kind of, like, glide around with it. I could just, like, jump off one of the towers and be like, Whee! Cover shield. I, I couldn't, like, get higher, but I, I could at least drift and not fall to my death. To my death. <laughs> fall to your death. Yes, fall to my death. Mm-hmm. So theoretically, you could have left off of something standing all over the shield. Uh, theoretically, but I wouldn't have trusted my character's balance doing that. <laughs> so instead, I just kind of glided from it, or rather left on. It's like, here, That's still pretty awesome. Yeah, oh, no, don't attack yourself. It still would have been neater as No, attack yourself, raise defense. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on a sec. Punch from the front. You see the fear in their eyes. What? Melee from the front. See the fear in their eyes. But melee from the front is what you do. Miss! Dang it! He's right next to you! Okay. You're not the tank. Control melee from the front. Oh, is that from the front? Yes. Okay. I was thinking just like the front lines, and I was like, no. where, where else are you going to, to, to melee from? No, melee is a melee. Gotcha. You can melee from the flank. Well, yes, that, that was the point. You can't, but you melee from the front. Yeah, I, I, was saying, I, I was saying front as opposed to like back ranks. Yeah, and I meant like the flank, battle. the flank right. unit. Like uh, the arm. Right. <laughs> but but the the, the the flank would still be at the the front line. They would be at the front line melee. They would just be at the side of the enemy. Or you can melee from behind enemy lines, which would still be. It's the same thing. They would be behind the front. Yeah. 
Sounds a lot, a lot like the uh, the reverse of all of those endless stairs that you used to see uh, in like early 3D games, like Mario 64. It's just that w when you get to the top, you go back to the bottom. I guess. Ah. I made it to this place. Hey, is this Who are you? <laughs> Rebels. Oh, you're. Guy in should probably run. Where is Navy safe? Maybe you can fight. I don't know. Trapped. No! Don't be trapped. Oh, you missed your surprise round. No. Magic. Fire. Magic. Preemptive cure. <laughs> fight! No! Fight no! This oh, is bad. This is very bad. I am sad. Why are we fighting a truck? I went somewhere I shouldn't have. Corneria? This isn't Corneria. It looks like Corneria. This is Finn. That guy certainly likes swords. He sure does. Maybe you can run on your own. No. Oh. oh. He didn't die. But he Ringo died. is a god. <laughs> Yeah, but he also took, like, a tenth of the damage that everybody else took from those hits. Yeah, I think he's... I think the game's wanting him to be your tank. Yeah. I'm all the way back here. Make sure I get respect to defenses. Yeah, I don't have all the equipment I had before. Dang it! Check the respect to defenses. No, his is definitely the highest. I, I know this. Ambushed. A ham in the hand is worth two in the bush. Why would you put your hand in the bush? Ambush. That's why. There's so much. Says, Welcome to the pit. Major piece of next work, death. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Hey John, set a snake on fire. I think those are. What are those? I think they're snakes. Yeah. Yeah, there's the tail that came around the bottom and they've got the snake yeah. head. They, they, they might also be some kind of weird bramble monster, but... 
Either way. Yeah. I'm more disturbed by the bramble concept than a snake. Magic for Don. Yeah, you okay. have to, otherwise you would be putting another key down. Good point. He's obviously been casting for once. Yeah. She is out of MP, so I should probably <coughs> get the hen. You should set more fire spirits. Maybe we're already here, so there. Then maybe I would have like, set four <laughs> more fires. Then I got to the end. even have used magic. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a lighter and a can of MP40. I will do no such thing. Hashtag flamethrower. Hashtag not a wizard problems. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, how about the toasters and strawberry popcorns? We have those. Yep. Don't we? Oh, I I'm too gill short. I thought I had cookies and cream. Oh, maybe you do. Uh, so no pop tart flame tour. Well you could do it with the cookies and cream ones, couldn't you? I thought it was specifically the strawberry. I don't know. Because chemistry. All I know is my little sister threw a strawberry pop tart in our fireplace when she was really young. <laughs> and that so was so horrible. And hilarious. That must have looked awesome. Place. You can let it finish burning. It's, a, it's the place where fire it goes. It smells awful, though. The fireplace is where fire goes. The living room smells like burnt popcorn. Where you keep your fire. <laughs> I'm about to let that permeate the entire house. Yay, she hit him. <laughs> HP up. Yoko's been beating John. <laughs> it's domestic violence with the phone. something even harder now. Shoot yourself with the bow. Because I should shoot myself. <laughs> and seriously, that would be difficult. It would, so, be, it would be easiest to shoot yourself in the foot. Yeah, you could probably shoot yourself in the foot. Are you trying to aim backwards at yourself? Yeah, that... I mean... It's the, hard enough to draw in you, 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 uh, if. Yeah, if you're drawing a bow the way you would normally draw a bow, to like the, the, the full distance that you normally would, it would go right past you over your shoulder. <laughs> Which might actually kind of be a cool trick, but... It would be easier to just take an arrow and jam it into your leg. Yeah, pretty much. Two gills short of a purchase? No problem. Great robbing time. <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't have any paladins, so we could do that. We can sell some pants. Oh, yeah, there's actions in that. Ah. Oh! I had boots, who played no pants. Yeah, it looks like she's wearing nothing but a bra and shoes. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> I, I almost made the very horrible joke earlier of trying to unequip her clothes, but I, I opted not to. I was like, eh, maybe I should. Ringo, how could you miss? You have the highest pit percent. Actually, I think John does. No, it's Ringo has the highest hit percent. <laughs> Finally! 
It was a terrible episode, but no one can hit a goblin show. It sounds like a really boring show. The world's... It just keeps dodging stuff. The most. There's gotta be something there. Oh. That's awfully dodgy. I know, right? It's like they don't even understand their reason for existing. Vince is being cute on the stairs. Oh, is he? I can't see him. Yes. Lean over this way. <laughs> He's all like wolfed over grooming himself on the stairs. It's cute. sake of confirmation, I think this way is where the super hard enemies are, after I get past the forest here. He's like, run, set on fire! I have no idea. Well, no, I'm just saying, that's why I'm going this direction, and saving first. <clears throat> Alright. French fish. Fresh. Terrible fresh. Yay, he actually hit. Shield. Okay, maybe it's not this way that the uh, horrible bombs are. Because there is nothing over here. Oh god, maybe it is. Cockatrice! Oh no! It's like the peninsula of cheating! 
<laughs> Are they flammable? Try setting them on fire! Okay, yeah, that's what happened. I'm. It, it, that's why I just saved. Beware the Doom Peninsula! Was it full of death? It was full of death. Just, ah. The super tough enemies are definitely to the west, but I think there's a peninsula of power today going on south of the Starry Cavern. Which she has as a PHP variable. Actually, I think it's a constant because it's an all caps and focus version. <laughs> I've got some trash! It's yogurt time. Ooh, yogurt time. I am starving. Thrilling adventures in that level seat block just burned on the heat. And tacos! 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 Yogurt tacos. I didn't want to fire it up, I was like, Build my taco! They're not yogurt. It is. I can eat four of those. If only they weren't so expensive. Yeah. Now I want a chocolate taco. See what you've done. Oh. Well done. It <laughs> worked until gravity <laughs> happened. <laughs> it, it happened just off camera, so for those of you watching at home, we, we had like a trash bag right here uh, from when we went to Taco Bell earlier, and Daniel tossed his trash into it, and it slid off the table. Well, table, the, the box that I always use. It was right in, it, it didn't actually push it off, it just kind of started sliding and fell. At least this time it wasn't the cat. Hasn't there been at least one episode of this where the cat slid off the table in the background? Yes! That means yeah. Much Everything on this table off with her. Yeah. It was hilarious. <laughs> and not a thing was left. And we had a ton of stuff there, too. Yeah, was, she, she was messing with stuff on the table, and I was just trying to, you know, shove her off the table, and instead, everything came off with her. Instead would be the word. That would imply that she was still there, but everything else went instead. <laughs> And be... instead, the entire contents of the table went in. Wouldn't it be terrible she had access to some sort of feline trickery that made so he tried to pick her up and take her off the table and everything else fell off and she was still on the table? It's like that magic trick where you yank <laughs> the table claws out from under all the rest of the silverware, except you yank all of the other stuff out from under the cat. Yeah. <laughs> and she's just sitting there looking proud of herself. Nice try, she. It's a good thing cats aren't lizards. Or are they? They're not. They're not just good at that. Sometimes they're not convinced. They don't have stealth skills. That was a terrible one. Yes, hey, Vince. You're more well lit than usual. That's, that's because the foyer light is on, which it isn't very often. <laughs> Lux foyer. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 are, you are crossing languages there. It'd be what, loose? I don't either. I am crossing the tongue streams. Oh, speaking of French and other things. Also, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Uh, 
are, are any of you watching familiar with uh, the upcoming Double Fine game, Massive Chalice? It's a, uh, for those of you who aren't, it is a lineage-based uh, tactical RPG, basically. John got dumber! No, John, stop it. Have him set more fires! That'll get smarter. Stop huffing glue. Set more fires. Fires are good for brain. Anyway, I, uh... I, I donated at... Not donated, I contributed at a level to, uh... Uh, to, to get a a family to make and put in the, the final game. I named the family Mondegreen. Partly because that's just a name that I use places online, but also because it's one of my favorite words, and the meaning just kind of played its played into uh, the the details of the family that I named it. Uh, a couple of the details anyway. Like the uh, the name of their castle is Four Candles Keep. If that doesn't mean anything to you, look up on YouTube later. The uh, crap. Why am I forgetting the name of it? To the two Ronnies sketch Four Candles. It's entirely about misunderstanding uh, what people are saying, and it is hilarious. It starts out with a guy. Uh, two, two very, uh, like, rural British guys with, you know, the, the, the thick accents, thick regional accents, uh, one of them, uh, at a, uh, a general store, one of them's behind the counter, one of them's coming in to get stuff. The first one asks, uh, he has his list, and he asks for four candles. And so the guy pulls out four candles, because that's what he heard. He's like, no, no, four candles. Half handles for a fork. Like a pitchfork. He was like, oh. So he grabs a, you know, the, the, the handle for a pitchfork. And it just goes on like that. Lots of misunderstanding. So that's why it's called Four Candles Keep. And then the, uh, the other part of it for the battle cry, I, I agonized over picking a battle cry for them because I, I wanted it to be a Mondegreen, to, to, to follow the, the theme that I had going, as yeah, it were. Yeah, you've been working on this for like a week. Well, more than a week. But, a week that I had to listen to it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what, uh, what, I wound, what I went with was what I always hear in the, uh, or at least an approximation of what I always hear when, uh, in the song, uh, Our Lips Are Sealed by the Go-Go's. Until I remember the title of the song, whenever I hear it, I swear the chorus sounds like they're singing French. So, like, they're going, Allez sous ciel. So, that's, that's what the, uh, their battle cry is. It basically means go under sky, which makes no sense at all, but it's it's a Mondegreen. Mondegreens generally don't. So it works out. Also, their heraldry is a cross-eyed bear. <laughs> yeah, you just remind her about Exactly. <laughs> Alternately, gladly, the cross I wear. I'm kind of surprised you know so much about that song. <laughs> it played a lot on the radio at one point. Everybody had a clock radio that I went to sleep to. Yeah, as, 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 as much as Daniel purports to not like music, he, he makes a lot of really good and clever music jokes. Like, like, references to songs and stuff. Yeah. 
One. One damage. Attack yourselves. Or just miss and let the hornet get away, whatever. Wow, he was scared of the hitting. Yeah! Levels up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sword level. Uh, he'll probably be dealing a lot better damage now and have higher accuracy. I hope. Also kind of hurt. Wait, did you have John do that? No. Because that was a lot of damage. I don't think the answer did that. No, Ringo did that. magic everybody. Okay, I'm I'm psyched. Are you setting everybody on fire? No. Why not? Well not not right now anyway. <laughs> Maybe later. Yeah. Twelve to eighty-three. So that's so seventy one. Yep. That's a good cure. Mm -hmm. It's over here on everybody but Ringo and that means Set all two snakes on fire at once. Actually, this is enough targets. So I want to do that too. Maybe a bit more guys to try and play. Meanwhile, I'm going to do something horrible. I'm not sure you can. I'm going to do something horrible over here. I'm not sure you can there either. Why is he even trying to I'm out of toilet paper. <laughs> I think, I, I think that just means he's not pooping. Yep. Yes, I can target everything! No, it isn't. Yeah! Now we're just peeing. It's gross! We can shake it off. That's a toy. You should still want it. <laughs> Ew. I've had my worldview expanded and I don't like it. <laughs> 
<laughs> More fire. Unnecessary fire. And very ineffectual. Yay! That one actually died. However, the one that died is the one that Ringo was targeting. I don't think that's sufficient to ablate the porcelain. <laughs> Probably don't. <laughs> no problem. What? <laughs> I took you to the dance for the dance. I didn't know that guys don't like. That's gross. Um, I only had the yellow, the water, and the green. <laughs> I know, and that's gross. <laughs> Throne of Games is educational. <laughs> In all of the ways that I don't want it to be. I should save. Yes, you should. But you don't need to. What? Um. I don't need to. Like, Mark is talking about chasing it off, but is there not residue? Like, should you not still grab a square of toilet paper and take care of them? <laughs> because that's gross. Oh, here's four you can set on fire. I, he's out of MP. Oh, fire. You know, with all of us attacking each other, that I'm, I'm kind of getting this image in my mind of of battles being like the Three Stooges. <laughs> a wise guy. Eh? fighting in the middle of an actual fight. <laughs> Much to the confusion to the enemies. So I'm a little confused what's going on in the plot. You were sent to Finn. Mm -hmm. You told me to go check out Finn. But Finn's full of murder. Yeah, it is. Maybe I just sh should be more careful. Around? That could be it. And 
it runs away. This is fun. John got super. Thank you, John. Stop that. And the world splits open for a little town. Oh yeah, and I should buy more things. What? Yeah. That's what I meant by armor. He's fully equipped. Okay. So I'll buy her headgear and body gear. Because that's a word. That is a term that is used. Like, sweet, you can pick up rods in this town. <laughs> Twas Teddy. Oh, you can only save a little bit. Michael Bugs says, No, no, John's declining hints, Dad. There's all kinds of common plan involving integral underflow and subsequently setting the world on fire. Unless <laughs> 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 the programmers remember to check for that, which they probably did. I don't know, they, they, they didn't often check for integer overflow in old games. <laughs> Woohoo! Ignis Moody! Please don't set the whole world on fire. We're gonna make the world set the with all of your screams. Doodle a doodle a doodle. <laughs> Thanks, Evil Tournament. <laughs> Reduces the damage per target. Fire for a president, fire for a president, fire, fire for a president, fire for a president. You like fire, I like fire, everybody likes fire for a president. We'll take fire to Washington. Three. Four. Four. Three. At least you can find a better arrow shot nicely. Mm -hmm. Yay. 
insect arson. Insect arson. Sharp. There's a bed. A bed is not nothing. It's a place that you could sleep. It's a bed you can't use. Why not? Books. Yeah. See ya! Good luck with the karaoke contest. What about that shield on the wall? It looks like a switch. Curses! What is this? Same switch? There's no switches. That's kind of a double entendre with this game, I just realized. Are those knights just ignoring the monsters? Like, eh, whatevs. I, I think they command them, actually. Well, in that case, you shouldn't let anything get away. Freaking bee buzzes up to him. Hey, boss! They're here! All of a sudden, the Imperials are actively searching for you. Strike first! Uh. I don't like this. Oh, I guess it, I, as long as you don't touch them, you're okay. Guess 
So go talk to there's anyone. Somebody. Oh, there! Don't enter behind the counter. Why are these imperial soldiers always so rough? Gumble, gumble. Oh, it's you. Here's a passage behind this wall. A dying soldier is waiting inside. Uh, thanks for that. Yeah. You gotta turn me over? You gonna turn me over to the Empire? I'd rather die than live that fate. Why did... Why did I accent? Know. Oh, the Rebellion. I am Scott, the Kashuan Dynasty. Of the Kashuan Dynasty. Scott Kashuan. So, you're Scott. Gordon told us you were captured by the Empire. Yes, I won't last much longer. Please answer a dying man's last request, Cough. <laughs> Tell my brother Gordon he has a splendid talent and to have more pride in himself. Tell the King of Finn the reason Finn was taken was that Duke Borgen betrayed us. He's now a general for the Empire. As for Hilda, I love her. Wait, do not tell her that. I'm nearly gone. She should forget about me. She deserves to fall in love again. Excuse me, but do you know my brother, Clumsy? No, Kauf. Take this ring. It was to be our engagement. Ring. I, I'm so tired now. Let me rest now. Dang it! <laughs> no! <laughs> and he's gone. It okay. There were three potions right there. He, we couldn't have just given him one. Or cast a cure. Right? Yeah, seriously. Well, I guess everybody can equip a potion now. Yeah. John, you can have two potions. <laughs> Unknown. Where'd it go? I think it's just an item. I think it's probably a uh, an interaction item. Thank you. It's also fun as 
So go over to the fridge, put your hand on a drink, and be like, okay, now what? And I just spilled. I barely have a drinking problem. Hey. John got even more life force. I guess that amplification is still under effect. to a gnome location. Where there were gnomes, I guess. You guess. smarter. We have the technology. That's a box of matches. You're a box of matches. Cool! Oh god! Maybe you shouldn't be a box of matches. <laughs> Aww! I'm trying to go burn things. Precisely! consumed in flames. No, not the Nice town. job breaking it, heroes. If I break it, I mean burn it. Severity. Break, burn. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah, I mean... Potato, Honda Civic.
up. That's not a thing. That's an excellent image I don't want to have in my head. Toilet fire? Yes. Yeah. Miss! It, it's just a big stack of toilets burning. Toilets are porcelain, they shouldn't burn. If you get an oxidizer involved, anything will burn. Ever tried pouring liquid oxygen on something? No. No, I haven't. Don't! It's hilariously explosive! How do you thirst for Mithril? Hello, Remy. He just has a very intense desire to make stuff out of. Hello, man! Mithril! If I had Mithril, I could make some great equipment. Maybe you can use Learn Mithril? I already did Learn Mithril. Well, learn is just for learning new words to say to people.
Yay. Double kill. Soul up. Yoko got soul, yo. Yeah. Trying to beat the enemies. No, John. You are at the enemies. Goblins know about Mithril. Sure do. And running. Yeah, probably. Yeah, when bees are scared of you, it's a little confusing because how did how did they spread the word? You don't know bee speak. They, they could have butt wiggle dances for everything. Beak? So many butt wiggle dances. Yep. Butt wiggle dances usually refer to the distance and direction of flowers. As far as you know. The distance and direction of enemies. Because those change regularly? Possibly even? Chaos 
I guess I could electrify this, right? Let's see how you have to find the sword here or something. That's what I'm guessing. <coughs> Thank you. Ow. Don't talk to him! I didn't. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna eat your legs! Not my legs! That was a painful sneeze. You didn't delete your eggs. I don't have those. The goal is Smash Mouth in it. Smash Mouth eat the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten about that. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing something awful ever did. Yup. That's saying something. Yeah, they're responsible for the beach show. If the uh, the barkeeper guy is still there, which he might not be, uh, if I could say mithril to him and see what that does. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Just roll up on the guy. Mithril. 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 Just get creeped out and start slowly backing away. <laughs> It because of treasure chest. Can I get you some sword? Is it under the bed? Oh. Find the clock and check in there. There are no clocks. Ah, oh, but it's hard to make a good pencil. That would, that would, that would be good. a legendary mythical sword as a I guess this is where I start exploring. Because when you're exploring, it's never boring. Hey, bees, man.
supposed to go that way. understood a word he was saying, but we had fun filling out the forums and playing with the pencils on the group W bench. I love that song. Groblin. Don't at least don't seem as bad as the other guys I felt. Well, I ran into, but they're still pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably not where I want to go either. Then. Try south. Who is balls when you have really dangerous monsters? That's not more frustrating or anything. Wait, see, the laser walls are microwave walls. Just as dangerous as laser walls, but you can't see them. Well, yeah, but I'm just seeing like a wall made of microwaves. That that would be funny. That would be able to see. Oh, it's a 
salad. You don't win friends with salad. You know if you bring bacon bits.
Whoa, what are you? Those look like werewolves. <laughs> Those look like bears. <laughs> Ow! Oh, no. God. It's a good oh, thing I God. just saved. Uh -huh. So that's that's not the way. No, you don't want to go south from there. Vaguely mole-like. Yeah, it looks like gophers, kind of. You guys didn't see it, but there's some kind of bug in here. It was on Bitsy's face. What? And it was driving him crazy. He kept whacking his snap at him. I think he got it. Good job, boy. <laughs> Good bits. I think that's what he was getting all twitchy about with the stairs. The bug was on him. He was chasing down the stairs. <laughs> Zero gill. I got nothing for that fight. Oh, you found a place. Well, this is the same. Oh. Was it one of the leg warmers? What? What? Which fight? What? You got nothing for a fight. Right? The, the one just now? I was just trying to get one of those. It, it was a goblin. Okay. Nothing yeah, came wait. with the fight. That's no, no, we, 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 we beat him, but he didn't drop gill, didn't get any stat gains. Nothing. That one wasn't. substituted one sort of nut for another there, I guess. Crazy. I am being such a trouble maker. The trouble? John, how do you have red feet in Yoko? I know, right? That's a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's been long enough for you since you played one of these that you forgot the dragon roll and talk to everybody. It's such a kind of situation. Wait, the thief isn't here. I'm 
losing their house as fast. That was a temple. Oh. Need a magic sword in his Is there anybody at the inn? Nope. Pork chop sandwiches! Oh, we gotta get out of here! <laughs> yeah, do, do not continue that on here. Who do I tell about Mithril to get some? I don't know, you better figure it out in the next seven minutes. Yeah.
Places I've tried to go are like way outside my uh, ability. To approach. We only have five minutes though. It won't really be worth it to check tonight. There's a boat. A canoe. I don't know where it is. Get to Palm. You can take a boat to Palm. Wait, how do I get to Palm? Uh, down there, right. That doesn't tell me anything. Nearby tells me nothing. Where is nearby? I don't know. I saved a minute ago, so... Hey, ifs. Actual ifs. What is this? Oh, this looks like death. It does look like death. Single target. Oh. 
this to healing. That's it for our party for right now. Uh, <laughs> it's also it for the show for tonight, so thanks for tuning in, everybody, and for uh, keeping up with this on this sort of off week, I guess. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, I know I had a lot of fun. Just derping around here. Uh, up next should be DJ Who, so... Stick around for him. Good times. Uh, I'll be back on Thursday for This Week in History, and Throne of Games will be back next Saturday, hopefully with something that we actually do continuously, like uh, probably Dungeon Keeper, I'm guessing. Hope to hopefully. See, hopefully. Hope to see you all then. Good night. Good night. Good night. Mm-hmm. <laughs>